The Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing as under of the soul and the spirit and of the joints and the marrow, and is a critic of the thoughts and intents of the heart. All Scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Welcome once again to our daily doctrinal Bible study through the YouTube of the Vic Balbido Evangelistic Ministry. Today our title of our uh, subject matter today is a very interesting subject. The greatest fear of man, which is death. Okay, without much ado, let's uh, get ready, prepare ourselves for the study of the Word of God. If you are a believer, use the principle of 1 John 1, 9. But for you, unbeliever, use verse 16. I mean, uh, chapter 16, verse 31 of the book of Acts. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, because we belong to Thee, we have the right and the privilege of fulfilling the function of our priesthood by listening to the teaching of Your Word. We recognize, Father, that our growth our orientation to life, our understanding of your plan, your purpose, your design for each one of us is based upon the constant, daily, consistent assimilation of your word. May God, the Holy Spirit, now sanctify us to the nourishment of our soul, for we ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Okay. What is the greatest fear of mankind? The answer is death, physical death. Well, death is inevitable. May I ask you, what is death to you? Well, in Luke chapter 12, verse 4, God's word says, I say to you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body and after that, have no more that they can do. When you are already face to face with God, as a believer, I am talking to you as a believer, never fear any kind of disease like COVID-19. Do not fear who shoots you and terrorize you. Do not be a coward. You know what? Fear debilitates our human function. Cowardice is when a person stops thinking and reasoning under pressure. He loses courage, thus becomes a coward. Why? Because there's now the fear of the unknown. When fear strikes, claim God's promise, a counter to fear. Now, <clears throat> Today's trend is that a lot of people die, right? Now, popular people and pop or unpopular people die, both popular and unpopular. Now, our life is just hanging on a fine thread. God can cut it off any moment. God is the only one who owns our life. He controls the manner, the place, and the time of our death. Whether we like it or not, all of us are going to check out from this life as God's perfect, at God's perfect timetable. But the question is, are you ready when it is your time? You see, fear of dying actually is questioning God. That is an insult to God. 
God, you see, is the owner of our life, the source of our life. He's the one holding the key as to when, where, and how each one of us is going to die. Like I said, our life is just hanging on a thin thread. God can cut it off at any moment in His perfect timing. Listen, there's only one and only one way to prepare for death. And that is, if you are an unbeliever, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Acts 16, 31. So if you wish to go to heaven after you die, then take heed to God's guaranteed promise. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. That is how to be sure to get to heaven right after you make your last breath. My friend and believer, ponder on these things.